Hello everyone, this is Jim here. Today I'm going to look at testing or showing you an example of the Avcans AI tracking NDI. It's an HX2 or 3 on the NDI quality. It's the LV20N from Avcans. I picked this up for our church. We're going to trade out just a standard PTZ with no NDI because we're getting too much of a delay when we're trying to, to display it on our local screens. This is a real nice little camera. The camera itself is just a standard PTZ design. Up on the front, it's got a tally light up on top of the lens. At the bottom, it has your power light and status. So just bring it a little bit closer on that. And then on either side, it's just got the mounting stirrups on it. It does have the HX3. And you do have the option of either going HX2 or HX3. The 3 is really if you have the additional bandwidth. If not, the 2 just uh, brings in a little bit better quality on it. Here's the other side of the camera. And as far as on the back of it, you've got the USB 3.0, so you can plug it in directly to use it as a webcam. You've got the HDMI out, and you've also got an SDI out. So again, you've can you got two options to put it in to... If you have a uh, video switcher, like an ATEM, this is a real nice way. Then your LAN, uh, this is a way to communicate with the camera. It's also PoE, so if you just have uh, wanted to use it for NDI capability, just plug in a PoE connection to the LAN port, and you've got power, you've got data, and you've got video, so it's real nice. You do have an RS-232 in an RS-482 if you want to, to use it that way. We will be using it with an S3 controller, so we'll be doing OnViv on it with no issue. And then you do have a DC power supply in, so if you don't have a PoE switch, you do have that option. Also, when you're using PoE, if you kill power to the PoE, it does kill power to the camera. When you add the power back, it does power up automatically, so you do not need to use remote to power the camera on and off, which that comes in real handy. Now, what I've got here is I've got the camera actually turned on. So you can see the power light and status are green. The tally light's red because it's actually turned on and being accessed. And just to show you a picture, I'm showing you the O1 PTZ camera that is filming this. So you can see that it does get fairly close. This is probably less than three feet away, so you can get in on some pretty good distance, which is real nice. As far as being able to do anything with it, uh, you do have a web page you can talk to it on. So here you see it, it looking. You can do some AI tracking, so you do have a setup page for it. Uh, video, you do have a way to set up the stream, so you, you have your resolution 1080 maximum. You can either go constant or variable bit rate. So you do have a lot of options on that. On the median config, you do have RTSP, RTMP, and SRT options. The NDI fig config, you do have the HX2, HX3. Now, when you do the HX3, all your settings become uh, static at that point. You cannot change anything. So that gives you some information on that. On control, you, know, you do have uh, Visca. So you have the option on that. On system config, You've got your normal admin. You can add roles. So if you want to have a user or a camera operator, you can do that where they can't make any setting changes. Ethernet, the DHCP is on. So that's really nice because you can turn the DHCP on, plug into your network, and then search for the camera and find the IP address. It does have a firmware update. So you just drag the file to that. Now this does have the latest firmware update. So when it came from the factory, if you look at device info, it does come with 1.0.17, which is the latest firmware from Afghans. But it is a real nice unit on that now. If I bring back to the live view, you can see how that works up real well there. You've got your image. You can, you, know, you can mirror it if you want to to flip it. If you're hanging it upside down, you've got that way. Focus, you do have autofocus, and since I'm real close, I went ahead and used manual focus to get in on there. And again, it's just a real nice little camera. 
one little nice feature about that would be on your menu. When you call up the menu, you can go over here. So if you just plug it into a system, you go over to the system, you go down to your network, enter there. I didn't hit the right button on that. Hold on just a second. Network. There you go. So now you see DHCP is on. You can get your IP address. That way it's an easy way to go in there without having to do any other software. Now they do make a CMS software that you can use to find the IP address. Uh, personally, I've got a program called an OnViv Device Manager, and it pretty much detects all my cameras without any issue. So what I'll look at, you've got a, a PTZ camera. It's got NDI, either HX2 or HX3, so it, it handles the latest version, which will give you a higher quality NDI feed. And all this is what I paid $350 for uh, for our charge. So we've got a, you know, basically we saved $150, which we use for other items. So I think all in all, this is a real nice little camera for the price, and it should service a long time. So again... We got it at Amazon. They've got a nice little price on it. So you can check the store. Sometimes they'll have savings on it. Right now it is at $50 off, but it's a heck of a camera for the price. And again, it has all the outputs needed that should handle anything you have to do either streaming or live production on that. That's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video when I do something on that. Appreciate you tuning in.